thank you for attending this uh, short demo. Today we launched a new version for Marionette Studio and I want to share the changelog with you. So we added some great things. Uh, first of all, we have two new export options. One is the CSS3 um, and HTML5 code generation and the other one is the spreadsheet format and I will try to um, I will try to demo them um, in one minute. Today I'm going to make a very simple animation and I will um, export it into the new formats that Marionette Studio Animation Software supports. I will go to the editor. I am already logged in but if you don't have an account yet you can create one very easy. It takes only one minute to do that. First of all I will try to, uh, to create a new scene. save my scene. Let's see balance test because um, I will uh, create a um, short balance animation using smile. It's pretty funny but it's very easy and you'll see that. For this I need to import my sprites. We need to have PNG format in order to import them with drag and drop option. And I will swi switch to full screen mode. Here we go. And we want now to try to build our um, our scene. And for this, we will need to resize the images because some of them are too big and some of them are too small or too small for that. And I will resize the face to 20% and second face, smile face also to 20% because so at some point we will uh, interchange them. The triangle is too big, let's say 0 0.5. Okay. I think 0 0.2 is great. And the um, balance bar, it's also too big, I will make it 0.6. Okay, we need to position our object in order to create the scene that we want. And for the smile faces, we need to position them one right the other because we will need to interchange them and we don't want to show anything that is pretty strange okay save the scene and now we need to start creating bones i will create only two bones one for the smile face and one for the bar. And in order to animate images, we need to link the bones to the images. Let's say this is the um, face bone and this one is the bar one. And we need to attach the images to our bones. It's uh, easier to make like this, okay, and the bar under bar. So in order to see that our objects are linked correctly to their corresponding bones, we can check this like that. So with um, it is attached correctly. I will use the um, the function for um, going to the previous state. I also want to position this one like this, okay, and say the same. And now we can 
start creating our animation. So for this we need to uh, create some keyframes. Some, uh, as you know, the keyframes are those special, um, uh, those special changes in our animation. Now I will press Auto key to um, automatically set keyframes for each object that is animated. I will set the first keyframe okay. and in the keyframe number five I would like that my bar to hit the smile face okay and the face in the first frame, uh, the first face needs to be um, visible and the second face should be invisible. Now it was in this one and the second face should be invisible. Okay. And um, this keyframe needs to be deleted. Okay, save and let's see what we have done until now. Great. In the keyframe number 15, I need that my smile face to be in the middle, to be in the middle of the bar. And we want to create the rolling effect and we will do it like that. Okay. And also at this point I want that my second face to be the one that it sh is showed and the first face to be transparent. I don't want to see it. And let's see what happens now. Okay, so it seems that the faces are correctly interchanged, but the transition is not fine. So in this uh, keyframe, I will set the transition to step function. Let's play the animation. It looks fine. And our final keyframe should be the stop position for our animation. And for this, I will move, I will only move the, I will only move the smile face and rotate it a little bit. And I want to be like, this okay. let's see what wait and also I will in the 28 let's say I want to change the rotation for the smile face in order to be in the same position as it was before uh, in the first keyframe. Save and let's see how it works. And if we want to persist the last frame for I don't know a few frames, I just want to copy it and paste it a few frames after it. Okay. 
so it seems that we have one animation right now but in order to make it a little bit smoother I mean the movements to be more natural we need to set in the first keyframe for the bar an easing function and also for the um, smile bone also an easing function let's make uh, the timeline as long as we as uh, many keyframes we have so we will set it 31 and let's play the animation in loop and um, now our animation cycle should be a little bit um, smoother great and in the frame number five I also want to have an easing function for the smile face and also in the keyframe number 15 for this one No, it's not called this one. For the face wasn't set let's play it again okay so it seems that we have an animation ready let's save our work and now we can export it into sprite format balance one we want to export all the keyframes and the fit to animation um, rectangle type I'll press next and now the sprite sheet is uh, processing we also have a preview control in here and after that press export and wait for our PNG file to be downloaded we now need to exit the full screen mode and this is the sprite sheet that we exported for this animation in order to export the sprite sheet with um, its CSS generated code so we can easily integrate it with um, in our website we just need to select the CSS free sprite sheet export and wait for an archive to be downloaded. We can save it to our computer. And if I'll go to downloads, I will see that the um, archive is downloaded and we can now see how the animation looks like. Yes, it is a little bit um, uh, too, too fast, but we can correct this thing uh, from here. So let's say that uh, we want the animation speed to, uh, to be 20 frames per second. And we can do the same CSS free, the same steps in order to export it. and wait for our files to be received okay. and let's see how it looks like 
as you see it's a little bit slower than this one and now I will show you the source code that can be actually copy pasted into your website this needs to be copy and pasted like this one and also this part should be also copy and pasted into your website and I will show you this uh, into another tutorial okay that's about it thank you so much for watching this uh, video